What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys the release day for Season 2, Episode 4 of The Walking Dead game. Now the release day is believed to be July 1st, and it's believed to be July 1st by myself. And I'm going to actually get into this video and actually explain how I got to that release day later on. And if you'd like to see that, you can go ahead and click the annotation on screen now to skip ahead to that part. Now with that in mind guys, I'm going to do something fun in the comments below, similar to what we did last time when we did this video. And just know, last time when we guessed Episode 3 release day, we were only one week off. We thought it was going to come out on May 6th based on similar formulas and averages uh, and also the Tuesday roll and it came out on May 13th. So we were really close last time and I think this time we'll be even closer and I'm hoping we get the exact day this time around. But just know last time we were only seven days off so you get a really close release day. You don't have to sit at home every day and go hey wonder when the Walking Dead game's coming out because you know these videos that we make here are going to be pretty close. So anyway jumping back to the comment section below if you're interested you can go ahead and leave your guess in the comments and go ahead and say hey I think it's going to be on the 4th of July or whatever you think it's going to be and then just leave that comment but make sure you follow the formula you see on screen now because that's the way I'm going to find the video or I guess the comments below in this video so what I do is I hit control F and then type in for example my guess would be 06 slash 01 slash 2014 and then I look for the, per the first person to actually leave that comment so just know if you're not the first person you won't win the $10 steam gift card and also know if you go back and change your comments I can clearly see it so don't worry about going back and changing your comments to be the first person because it actually does show up as comment changed uh, so definitely don't worry about doing that and also if you see someone else already guess your day then don't worry about guessing that day because it's already been guessed so you can throw it in there if you'd like maybe leave it a reason for your guess as well you can leave it anywhere in the comment it doesn't need to be in the beginning the middle or the end just leave a comment and leave your day and then we'll go ahead and go from there so just know that's going to be coming up as well and of course guys if you are interested like I said just leaving a comment is the only thing you need to do to enter you don't need to like or favorite or subscribe but of course you should probably subscribe that way you actually find out who won the steam gift card because that would be important for sure to actually figure out if you were the winner so with that in mind guys I'm gonna be jumping in now and explain how I got to this day so if you're interested and you want to stick around and maybe it'll help you formulate your guess because what I came down to is a range of 48 uh, to 73 days which gave it a pretty big window of when the game will be coming out so 48 days after episode 3 all the way up to 73 days so it's a pretty big window but it should definitely help out with your guessing uh, and your estimations of the release day if you want to actually stay around and enter in the contest so without any further ado guys let's go ahead and jump into that and of course if you're headed out right now thanks for watching the video and of course now you have an accurate day of release which should be around the 1st of July so thanks for watching guys and let's go ahead and dive in to how I actually got to this guess all right, so here we are at our high-tech notepad of uh, calculations where you guys can see everything that I'm going to be calculating. Once again, just like last time, this is obviously not the most high-end editing video, but uh, I think this is just the best way to get information across to you guys because I can show it in just a simple format of Season 1, 400 Days, Season 2, and then give you guys an averages and then actually end up predicting the day for Episode 4. So let's actually put that down here. Day prediction for episode four. So we'll get our accurate prediction just like last time. And as I mentioned, we were only a week off. So this time I'm shooting for it. I think we'll be even closer. And mathematically, we should be even closer because we have more data points to use. So we don't have to do much more guessing because last time it came down to a three week window when we kind of narrowed it down to, but there was a pretty big uh, room for variation. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and show you guys how I'm gonna populate these days. I'm gonna do season one just so you guys can see it. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen previous uh, times that I've done this, um, and uh, yeah, we'll show you how I do this. So the first thing I do is I pull up the Walking Dead wiki and then I head over to video games, uh, Telltale games, and then I go to seasons and then I'm going to pull up season one for right now and we'll come back to season two. But what's nice about the Walking Dead wiki is they track everything. So you're going to be able to see the release days for every console and every part of each episode. So for me, I'm going to stick to PC like I always do because that's the most uh, consistent release day. And that's also what I play on where you can see like Vita may not be as accurate or whatever it is. So you can see for PS Vita, they came out on August 20th, 2013 for both. Whereas on PC, they came out in 2012. So I stick to PC because it's the most consistent and it's the one I play on. So what we do first is we go ahead and notice that it is for PC right here, the 24th. So I just go ahead and control C, control V, copy it up there so it stays in the same format. I put this in brackets here and you guys can see 
Now I just got to figure out, well, I guess this is day zero, right? Because it's the first episode. So there is no days between this and something previous because it's the same. So that'll make sense in a second here. Let's just copy and paste this down for right now. That way we can change this format. But once again, you can see now Star for Help, which was the second episode, came out on June 29th, 2012. So we can go ahead and copy and paste this over. And we can see that it is right there. And then now we can actually find the days between April 29th and 2012 and June 29th or 24th and uh, June 29th. So it's a lot easier than actually going, oh man, how many days are between? Let's count that out and pull out the calendar because I can actually go ahead and enter them here, which you can see I've already just popped in just to make the video a little shorter. Once again, April 24th, 2012, and then we have June 29th, 2012. Then we calculate duration and you can see it's 66 days or two months and five days. So I'm just going to copy over the 66 days because that's the easiest way to do this. And you can see uh, it shows up right here really neatly and you can see 66 days between this episode. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and populate the rest of season one, 400 days, and then we'll start in season two and we'll go ahead and end up with our release date. So I'm going to cut ahead and continue on with populating this uh, season one part. All right, so I've gone ahead and imported all the information for season one, and you can see here what we end up with is 52.75 days between each episode on average. Now, you may be wondering, Connor, why on earth would you worry about season one if what we're trying to find is season two, episode four? And the reason for that is very simple, because it gives us a few things. One, it gives us an average day uh, more accurately based on season one, because we can see, hey, what actually happened previously with the last season. Also, it gives us a good idea of company trends. So I couldn't tell you the trend for episode five through one or one through five on season two because we don't know it all yet but i could tell you a trend of one through five for season one because we can see that it's 66 days 61 days so what i kind of get out of this is that we can expect season four and five to probably come out a little quicker for season two just based on what typically happens with the walking dead games and i say typically because it's the only thing that's ever happened before in the past so 100 percent of the time what happens is or at least 100% because there isn't a lot of data, right? This isn't season three. Once season three comes, we'd have a little more data. But once again, we can actually tell that season two, or season one, episode two, and season one, episode three, typically take longer than it's going to take for those later episodes. So the first ones take a long time to come out, where you can see a 60, 63 day average or so. And then you can see a, a 42 day average for four and five. So Hopefully that makes a little sense to you, but basically the, the later seasons should come out or the later episodes of a season should come out a little quicker just based on a trend that happened in season one. So that's why I imported that data. And once again, also we can see a 53 day release window is pretty typical for a season of The Walking Dead. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start importing the season two data, and then we can go ahead and use the Tuesday rule and find an accurate release day. And then based on the accurate release day with the Tuesday rule and based on season one, we can figure out our accurate release day. So let's go ahead and import this data and then we'll be back in just one quick second. All right, so I've gone ahead and imported all the data now for season two. And there's some interesting stuff here that even furthers the calculations that I'm going to do. And I'm going to explain them as we go through here because it is going to be a little different than our previous episode or our previous attempt at estimating, uh, which was a week off in season two, episode three. So I'm going to explain this a little bit here and why I want to change up some calculations. So first thing being, as I mentioned earlier, season one is important because it shows trends. And we can see a trend of 66 days, 61 days, and then 42 days so we can see an increase in speed between each episode first increase is minor it's about five days here and then you can see the same thing here being minor it's seven days which is very very similar to five days so a big thing to notice here is that the next episode should technically based on this trend come out a lot quicker and actually the percentage of increase uh, we can go ahead and do here and we can do it simply I believe by doing 42 divided by 61 uh, and you can see it's 68.8%, uh, so we'll just do 69%. So we can see a 69% decrease, uh, I guess is what you could call it, in days between. So let's do that as well, and we're gonna put, we're gonna label this. So I actually remember here, and we're gonna just say uh, between these episodes, 69% uh, decrease in time. So this is important because the next episode 
isn't going to follow an average, right? Because if we took episode two and three average, we'd see 63 days between. If you made a 63 day guess for episode four, you'd be pretty far off. 21 days off, I'd consider a pretty far off guess because that's three weeks away, which isn't really acceptable for a guess. So with that in mind, the only information we know about episode four is that it's going to be in quarter three of 2014. But we know that typically between episode four and episode three, there's a 69%, uh, I guess, decrease. It takes 69% as long, I guess would be the, the better way to put that, but 69% as long for them to actually release the episode. So let's go ahead and do the same thing here and just pull up our calculator and take 70 days times 69%, which would be, how do we want to put that? 0.69. Uh, percent which would be 48 days 48.3 to be exact so we can go ahead and copy and paste this over and do days of 43.3 days and then we can also go ahead and take here and actually do a pretty accurate release day guess for our next episode as well it's based on the fact that they were duplicates but i'm gonna for right now go ahead and figure out what this day is by pulling up our day between calculator so what we need to do is first go ahead and pull up the release day for episode three which as you guys remember is may 13th so we'll go ahead and put that in here may 13 2014 and then once again we got 48.3 days so 48.3 we're going to round down to 48 and what we're going to get is calculate new day june 30th now june 30th is an important day which we will explain here in a second but let's go ahead and pull this over to june 30th now what's important about june 30th is that it's not on a tuesday and if we actually pull that up on the calendar you'll notice it's at the end of the month in june it's actually the last day the 30th but the next day is going to be a tuesday which is the first of july which is how we're going to get that july first release day which if we go ahead and change this you'll see july 1 2014 makes sense because it is 49 days which is pretty close to that 48.3 and it is on a tuesday and it follows that 69% change, which we saw in episode four. Now, what's important to know here is that that is based on a percent change that we saw between episode three and episode four in season one, which could totally be wrong. But based on the trend of it being five days shorter here and then uh, seven days shorter here and then a huge drop in the amount of time it takes to release an episode, we can pretty much assume that that's going to be a similar thing. So the other way you could have done this is based on averages. And if you take 77 and 70 and we open up our calculator and we do 70, let's see here. Uh, where's this calculator at on the other screen? So if we take 77 and plus 70 and then divide by two, we'll see that it's 73.5. So we'll say 74 days away. Now, if we do that and we go ahead and pop in 74 days, you'll see that we'll get a big range of all the way out to July 26th, which is still a pretty accurate guess. If you actually broke that down, it would probably make sense for it to be 73 days away because of that average or 74 because it rounds up, which would still be an accurate release day, which is where we get this huge range, which is these dates are wrong. They're old. They were when I did this kind of the first preliminary run through. But what we get out of this is July 1st, July 1, 2014 all the way out to July 26th. And actually the 26th would be on a Saturday. So let's say uh, the 29th, because we're gonna go for the Tuesday, we'll adjust for that. And you'll see this is a pretty big window. This is actually like 76-ish days, doing math on top of my head, uh, all the way out to 48. So or I guess 49, because we added one day. So you can see how huge this range is for days. It's actually a pretty massive range. So if you're gonna guess the comments below, as we mentioned in the beginning of the video, you got a pretty good range, which I you know, can't account for uh, mathematical, You know, if it's averages or if it's percent change. I just think percent change makes sense because you know, 69% change in 42 days, 42 days, that's a pretty heavy trend. And it could break the trend, but I think the trend is gonna hold true and we're gonna see an average release day big drop down to that at um, uh, 49 days, I believe it is, uh, between releases. And then that means the next one is probably gonna be 49 days as well. Based on the trend of it being the same amount of time between each episode, we can actually give a pretty accurate guess for episode five too. So let's do that in this video. So if it comes out on July 1, July 1, 2014, and we add another 49 days, we'll see that it comes out on August 19th, which is awesome because that's my birthday. So we'll go ahead and pop that in there August 19th, 49 days away. I don't even know if it's my birthday on a Tuesday. It turns out it is. So that could mathematically work out for it to be 
August 19th for episode five as well. So those are two pretty accurate release days. We'll go ahead and copy down 69% uh, once again so you can see that, but that's where we got those percent changes. And uh, hopefully that helps you out a little bit with guessing these release days if you're doing the comments below for the, the $10 Steam gift card. But that's basically how I got there, guys. I did 69 and based it off of that percent change and got to 49 days. But once again, you could do averages as well. So huge room for error in this one, but we were really close last time. And I think we're gonna be really close once again with this guest. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave a thumbs up and a favorite. And of course, in the comments below, let me know what you think is better, the averages or the percent change, because there's are two totally different ways to do it. And you can see you get a, almost a 30 day uh, gap in actual days that it could release. But still, I think we're gonna be close. And uh, I'd love to see you guys' guesses below. I cannot wait uh, for your guesses to come in. So thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, peace. And of course, stay uh, stay tuned. Subscribe to actually learn who wins it. And a few months here, or I guess, in uh, on July 1st, hopefully we'll be hearing who wins it. So thanks, guys, for watching. Until next time, peace. And here is the outro.